Hello everyone, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I'm trying to see about the lighting here. I cannot get on my computer. Whatever. It is what it is. I'm not going to let, let's see if I can get some light. If not, I guess we're going to just have to go like this. But, um, hello everyone. First of all, praise God, praise God. I am getting on here because we are actually have actually started the fast. And the fast um, is self-explanatory. A lot of you were asking for details. It's from 5 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day for 21 days, right? And then guess what? God is so good. 21st, I think, is what the, the day before Thanksgiving, so you guys can still eat or whatever, right? Praise God, praise God. But um, that's not what I want to talk to you about. I'm trying to get some extra light for you guys to actually see me. But, I mean, I know you can see me, but, you know, it's kind of like go dark, so let's see, just one moment. I, don't, I thought it wasn't going to be that dark. Um, oh. Let's see here. Okay, you know what? I'm not one to just, we we'll just have to go with the flow. All right, so praise God, praise God. What I'm talking about is God strategically asked us to go on a fast on Halloween. That's because we're going to push back the kingdom of darkness. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We don't know what the enemy has planned, but God does. Come on, somebody. So I pray that you join us when the fast, this is not just about Halloween or whatever the case may be, but this is also about your life. God is positioning you right now. That's why a lot of people are going through it. Oh, come on, somebody. The remnant of God is going through it. And I'm going to tell you why we're going through it. We're going through it because God is positioning us in position for our destiny. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The kingdom of God has not even touched surface of what we're supposed to do. We have not touched surface of who we're supposed to be. We have not touched surface of the anointing. We have not touched surface of the healing. We have not touched surface of the deliverance that will take place. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God, right now, he's sifting. He's sifting. He's seeing who is really his and who is not. Oh, come on, somebody. Because truth be told, most people are about that money. Oh, don't play with me. Most people are about the money. They're not about the people of God. Because if they was, you would see the anointing. Oh, and I'm going to tell y'all something else. God ain't hip. Oh, and he ain't hop. Oh, come on, somebody. Most of y'all trying to look cool. Let me tell you something. Jesus ain't had no coolness in him. But what he did have is the Holy Ghost. What he did have is the anointing of God. What he did have is the anointing of God. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's what this is all about. This is not about fame. It ain't about no name. It ain't about being great. It ain't about this. It ain't about that. It is about the people of God. The people that are suffering out there. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And guess what? The church is not doing their job. Oh, hallelujah. You want to look good, but you ain't being good. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Can you detect? Do you have wisdom and discernment when something is wrong? Can you lay hands on the sick and they recover? Oh, come on, somebody. Because if, if not, then you are just cruising. Oh, come on, somebody, you're just cruising in this thing. You ain't really doing what you're supposed to do. Because to be honest with you, you're going to have to fast and pray. A lot of you are wondering what's going on. Remember, some of the things that you are battling, this kind come out but by fasting and praying. A lot of you are trying to get something done without fasting and praying, and it cannot be done. Oh, come on, somebody, I'm just here to tell you the truth today. It cannot be done, thus said the Lord, without fasting and praying. Hallelujah to his name. So we're going to have to do better. Oh, come on, somebody. We're going to have to do better. Because I'm telling you, the kingdom of darkness is up in it. That's why we're seeing more murders. We're seeing people just, I mean, so much evil stuff happening. Because the saints of God is not... Come on, somebody, backing that stuff up. You got to back it up with the anointing of God, the fire of God, the power of God. Good preaching ain't going to do it. Mm. Good teaching ain't going to do it. Mm. Being just just on a, a flyer and giving a conference, because y'all love giving them conferences all over the world. Y'all love trying to activate people. I don't know how you're going to activate nobody because they're already activated through God. But that's another story. Oh, I'm on one today. Hallelujah. I'm so sick of these fake apostles, prophets, wannabes. I'm sick of you. And I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Y'all ain't seen me for a while. That's because God is doing something. God is doing something. But when I come back, I'm going to call you out again. 
Because guess what? You're dirty and you're filthy. And it ain't about, it ain't about, oh, you're being judgmental. Oh, you're doing this. No, 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 no. The old school, which is the better school, by the way. The old prophets, which is the better prophets, by the way. The way that God says do it is pointed out when it's wrong. Oh, come on, somebody. As a matter of fact, the Bible says so. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Hallelujah to his name. We got to do better. We got to do better. Not just because it's Halloween, not because you're just going through, but because you are ordained and sustained and called for such a time as this. It is our duty. Hallelujah. It is your duty to be all that God has called you to be. It is your duty to have the anointing. It is your duty to have the power. It is your duty to serve God with all your mind, your soul, your body, and your heart. Everything else is foolishness unto God. Hallelujah to his name. So we got to do better. We got to be better. Oh, hallelujah to his name. So I pray that during this fast, if you're on it, I pray that you are praying through 5 a.m. to 3 p.m. And even after that, praying, wake up, praying, wake up, praying. God, thank you, Lord, I hear, I hear. Let me tell you something. There's a shift. There's a shift. There's a shift. There's a shift because the power of God has to be resonated in the churches. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Let me tell you something. The real prophets, such as myself, we're not going to be in mainstream because God didn't call us to mainstream. God called us to the world. Oh, come on, somebody. See, mainstream got to do mainstream duties. That means you got to do what they say to do. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I can't do what you tell me to do. Hallelujah. I got to heal God. And whatever God said to do, I got to do. It does not matter what you or anyone else should think. But mainstream apostles, mainstream prophets, mainstream bishops, mainstream teachers, they do what the people tell them to do. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody. Now, that's the story. Hallelujah. So I pray that you understand. It is time to be on your post. We are the watch men and women of God. Are you watching? Oh, come on, somebody. Are you really watching? Oh, come on, somebody. Are you reporting what you see to the body of Christ? Are you praying on your face? Hallelujah. Which is the most powerful prayer position. I'm going to tell you all the truth. You really want to back some stuff up? Get on your face. Get on your face. Get on your face. And I'm talking about for real. And cry out to your God. Because one thing about the enemy, the enemy can hear. They say that he's the prince of the air. The Bible says he's the prince of the air. But when you are down on your face, remember he thinks to be God. He will not get down there. He will not try to listen to your prayers because he wants to be worshipped. Hallelujah. That is the most powerful position. It's prostrate before the Lord. Hallelujah. So I pray that you understand who we are and whose we are. Because I'm going to tell you why the church ain't got no power. Because the church has been tainted. Let me tell you what God says. The enemy knows that if he can taint the church and he can taint you, then you will lose your power. Let me tell you what he tries to do. He tries to send people, things, jobs. You'd be surprised. Everything from God is not a blessing. Every, I'm sorry. Everything from everything that you get in life is not a blessing from God. So let me correct that. Let me say that again because somebody's going to say, well, did she say that? Let me, let me rephrase myself because then let me try to trip me up. Everything you get is not a blessing from God. That's why you have to ask God, God, what is this? And you have to wait till you get confirmation. I don't care if it's a person. I don't care if it's a husband, a wife, a car, a job. God, is this what you want me to have? And wait for confirmation. And, and don't be asking everybody for advice because everybody can give you some advice. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Everybody give you advice. Everybody give advice that don't really ain't doing it themselves. You got to go straight to God sometimes. Y'all always want to, well, I wonder what apostles say. I wonder what prophets say. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God is calling us back to himself. You are mine, said the Lord. I love you. I made you. I am the great I am. I am your father. Hallelujah. You got to go back to God. Hallelujah. And that's what's happening. You are putting people before God. You are putting things before God. You are putting money before God. And God is saying, this should not be. Hallelujah. That's adultery. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I pray that you understand what is going on. It's a war. <laughs> it's a war, honey. And, and, and I'm going to tell you, some of you too cute. Some of you too cute. You, 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 you be you too cute. How you going to battle and you don't have your war clothes on? I just want to know. How are you going to battle and you don't have your war clothes on? Well, what are the war clothes, apostle? The word of God. The armor of God. The love of God. Come on, somebody, and worship in God. 
you got to stay dressed for battle. You got to stay ready for battle. A lot of you, let me tell you what you're doing, and I'm not bashing you, humming, but I'm just going to tell you. A lot of you, you be in battle, and you take off your battle clothes. You remind me of David. You remember when David was supposed to be at war, and, and, he, and Bathsheba was in there? Don't you know that was a setup? Don't you know it was a setup? The day he was supposed to be at war is the day he met Bathsheba. Now, if he'd have been at war, he wouldn't have went through that test. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So you don't understand. Your war clothes keeps you in position. Hallelujah to his name. Your armor keeps you in position. Once you take your armor off, the devil be like, uh-oh. And he, I promise you he's coming. He's going to send something. That dangling carrot. You know that dangling carrot. The, and, and, and trust me, he knows what you're like. He's been watching you, honey. Your enemy knows you better than you know yourself. You don't hear what I just said. And that's why you have to study yourself and study your enemy and ask God, God, show me me. Hallelujah. So basically, don't be looking at everybody else. God, show me me so I can get that thing right. So I can be in position. So I can be ready for battle. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I pray that you understand who you are and whose you are and what time it is. Because you have not seen me on purpose. But I will tell you this, and I'm not trying to be arrogant. Oh, I feel the anointing like I ain't never felt it. Mm. I'm coming back, and when I'm coming back, I promise you, I'm coming back with a vengeance. You don't hear what I just said. Hallelujah. You let God prepare you in the secret place. Let him prepare you. Let him process you. Let, 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 let him do what he do. So when he presents you again before the enemy, you stand and you ready for real, not for play. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Because in this life, you're going to go in the secret place, come out and be ready. In the secret place, come out and be ready. In the secret place, come out and be ready. Go through the valley, come out the valley. Go through the valley, come out the valley. That's what life is as a Christian, a true one. If you ain't going in and out of valley, you need to ask yourself why. If God is not processing you and telling you, Get back, get back. I need to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. You need to ask yourself why. Spend time with God, people. Spend time with God. Don't let this social media, don't let people, don't let fame, don't let money, don't let a job, don't let a man, don't let a woman take you away from your God. God is first and foremost. Hallelujah to his name. He should be first and foremost when you get up, when you go to bed. Oh, Lord, I love you. Lord, I want to serve you with all my heart, my mind, my body, and my soul. For that is the requirement of a saint. So God bless you. God keep you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you through Christ. Stand strong in the Lord, my brothers and sisters, because it's hot out here. What do I mean? You don't see? You don't see all that evil that's going on? People just And hold on. Those are hits. Those are hits. Some of those are hits. They're being programmed. Those are hits. Everybody just not. The devil ain't doing everything. There are hits. Yeah, behind, behind the scene he's doing it. But some of those things are hits. Let me tell you why. They want to drop that gun law. They're not playing. I told you this years ago. I've been wanting you for years. They want to drop that gun law. And as soon as they drop that gun law, listen to me, listen to me. They're going to drop martial law. And that's when the life of a saint, we're going to find out what we're really made of. I'm just being real. I, I don't mean to scare you. Oh, come on, somebody. I don't mean to put fear in you. Hallelujah. I'm just telling you what's to come. Because some of you think this is a game. Right now, you're just living your life, spending your money, having fun, doing this, doing that. You ain't even worried about what's to come. Hallelujah. And God said, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Isn't that the truth? Isn't that the truth? Not just lack of knowledge, but lack of preparation. We don't want to prepare. We want to have fun. We want to, we want to live. We want to, we want to vacay. We want to, y'all know what I'm saying. That's not reality for a Christian. I called myself one day doing that, right? Um, after classes, when I first started in 2014, 15, I said, I'm going on vacay. You know what God told me? God said, Deanna, that's, that's not reality. And do you know when I went on that cruise to the Bahamas, I ended up ministering. This woman never met me in her life, and she called me in the room. She said, please come pray for my husband. And I, I, I'm not trying to bash anybody. People can tell your spirits. The people that I was with, she said, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be funny, but I don't want them in my room. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I knew what she was talking about in the spirit, but I didn't know she was going to call it out like that. She was truly a woman of God. So here I am thinking I'm vacating, and God said, you got work to do. Hallelujah to his name. Y'all better understand what time it is. We are always about our father's business. And if not, then you're not a true saint of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. 
be prayerful tonight because I'm telling you right now, this is so say his day, I say, so say. Because the Bible says, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. So he really don't have no day per se. You know what I'm saying? Alrighty then. So God bless you. I pray that you stand strong in the Lord. I cover you by the blood of Jesus over your mind, your soul, and your body in Jesus Christ of Nazareth name. I say that you will be a man and woman of God that stand in strength and honor and integrity and the anointing, the fire of God, the power of God, the love of God in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Hallelujah to his name. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.